Miriam. Hey guys. I'm just getting all the questions ready. Um, so these were all the questions that were sent through. I've actually printed them out and I've cut them up. So I'm just folding them and I'll be plucking them out and answering them hopefully. There's quite a bit to get through, but I think I should be fine. Hey. I hope you're all well. Ramadan's all uh, almost over. Are you all ready for Eid? Hey, Han. I'm going to get started with the questions as soon as I'm done with this. I'm so sorry. My printer was so slow. And, um, yeah, I couldn't get them printed in time. And it's got a while cutting all these up. Are you all celebrating Eid? I know there are some people who are not. You are? Hi, Aisha. Hi, Sibad. Oh my God. I didn't even realize there were so many questions. I don't think it's even gonna fit in my cup. Hi, Filizabla. Hi, Elif. How are you, Janam? Hey. Oh my god, I need help. All right, if you guys want to see what it looks like, there we go. I need to fold these as well. So for those who just joined, these are all the uh, questions that were asked. Um, so I basically just printed all the questions, cut them up. I'm going to place them in a cup and pluck them out one by one and hopefully get to answer these. And if anyone wants to ask anything on live as well, feel free to. I'm going to make sure I flick through and have a read of what you guys are writing as well. And yeah, I'm just going to... Hi, Toucan. Did your visitors leave? <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know so many questions. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through them. Um, there were doubles of a lot of the questions. So uh, with the doubles and unnecessary questions, of course, I um, got rid of them. And these were what were left over. Um, there's a lot of random questions uh, from forever stuff to daily things to my personal life. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully, I can get through it. Hi, Nasiba. Hey, Melissa. I can see more people joining in. And this is the last one. Okay. So, basically, guys, again, for the new people that just joined into the live. Um, so, the questions that I had asked on my story uh, a couple of days ago, I've basically printed all of those questions out, cut them up, and just folded them. So, I'm just going to pluck them out of here and answer them as we go so we'll see how their life turns out i'm well jenna i hope you're well as well it's been a while we should catch up <laughs> all right let's go first question Wait. oh oh my god <laughs> good one yes there was another one i actually didn't see that that's it i think we're all done there's none left just have a look it's all good okay so Let's go. I'm excited. There were so many questions and I didn't really get to go through them properly. Uh, there's someone who wants to join in. I think I won't accept anyone on the live as yet. I just want to get through some questions because obviously people ask these questions to get answers for them. And I know most of them are online now. Hi, everyone. Hi, Metap, the Muslim cleaner. I'm not sure what your name is, but hello. Um, okay, so with the first question forever related does your job with forever really give you a good wage that you can live comfortably so forever is basically a network marketing company and um, your wage is dependent on how well you work so the more you uh, you work the more effort you put in the more money you will earn and yes you will be able to come to a stage where you can earn incredible amount of money even more than what you will earn from your nine-to-five job full-time 
Um, Alhamdulillah, I managed to reach a level where I am comfortable with, uh, hence why I left pharmacy and I'm working from home, uh, doing forever for the past four years. Yes, I studied pharmacy, I was at uni for six years and so forth. However, um, I'm very comfortable now. I can travel when I want, except now, like we're all restricted. But um, it's just been, um, yeah, it's your earnings can be incredible. So in short, uh, but completely up to you. Um, but yeah, all right, we'll go next question. So we've got, was it hard to get into business? Absolutely not. Um, business is good. It's even uh, recommended in our religion. It's good to do business. Before I actually graduated um, becoming a pharmacist, I was working at uh, Coles um, as a checkout uh, girl and um, for many years actually. And at the same time, I had an evening dress business at home. So I was always involved with uh, business. I was working and I always had something on the side. Um, I worked really hard, guys. Like uh, to get to where I am now, it took a lot of effort. It took a lot of um, commitment. Uh, it took a lot out of me, but alhamdulillah, it was all very worth it. To all the young girls who are watching now, don't waste your time. When you're young, when you have time, honestly, make use of it. Um, work hard, uh, spend wisely. And once you get to a comfortable stage, you will be able to, you know, um, indulge in your luxury goods and buy the car that you want and so forth. But when you're young, work hard and save your money. That would be my advice. Um, how did you meet your husband? This question came up several times. Uh, I did pluck it out, so I hope there's no doubles in there. How did I meet my husband? I don't want to go into too much detail, of course. Um, However, uh, it was a mutual friend that introduced us. So basically, it was through a mutual friend. Let's go next question. I have a lot of dandruff and itchy scalp. What can I do for it? So for itchy scalp and dandruff, I would definitely recommend our aloe vera shampoo and conditioner along with our aloe first spray. Um, so dandruff is usually due to the dry scalp. That's why you get your like dry skin falling off. And it is a very common problem that a lot of people face, both men and women. Uh, but in terms of our forever products, I will definitely recommend the shampoo, conditioner, and our aloe first spray. All you have to do is um, use the shampoo and conditioner in the shower. And afterwards, you spray the spray on your hair after you come out of the shower. Um, the spray also helps um, protect your hair from heat damage from the uh, hair dryer. So that way your hair is much more healthy um, and uh, it'll look so much nicer. You'll have this amazing shine to it and it, it will really help with your scalp. In fact, um, I have a friend who, used, uh, who has placed forever products in her hair salon. And she's mentioned that a lot of her customers who have purchased these three um, products have given amazing feedback uh, on how it has helped with um, the dandruff. Which one did you say for shampoo? Forever Living Aloe Shampoo and Conditioner. I've got it here. I'll just show you guys. So I'm in my office at the moment. So I have all of my products on display here. So the shampoo is the Elo Jojoba shampoo, and this is the conditioner. And the spray that I'm talking about is this. It actually comes with a really big nozzle, and you can spray it on your hair. You can actually also use this as a face toner. You can use it on cuts, wounds, grazes, infections. Uh, you can use it uh, for bleeding nose. It stops the bleeding straight away. And yeah, it's multi-purpose. You can basically use it on even eczema and psoriasis and stuff. So. A pretty good product, multi-purpose, and it could be used on anything and everything. I can see my husband there. Hey, Janum. <laughs> you should be sleeping. You have work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, my husband is a really religious user of this spray. It actually thickens the hair and helps the hair grow and prevents fallout. So it has many benefits. Any acne and acne scar treatment, please? Yes, we do have. Um, so acne scars can be really difficult. Um, it really depends on your skin. Um, and, it, yeah, and it also depends how long you've had the scar for. 
However, uh, in general um, recommendation, I definitely recommend our aloe scrub. So scrub basically gets rid of all the dead skin cells and it um, makes way for the product that you put in for it to be absorbed deep down into the skin where it's supposed to be working. So scrub first. Secondly, I would recommend our uh, Alpha E Factor Serum, which has vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E in it. Three amazing uh, vitamins that help even out the skin and help with stretch marks, scarring, and as such. So I definitely recommend that. And then thirdly, I would recommend our Propolis Cream. Uh, Propolis Cream has vitamin A, vitamin E also, but it's uh, a very nice thick cream. So those three products I will definitely recommend for acne scars. Aisha, you've got amazing skin, mashallah. Thank you, thanks so much. Uh, my skin, I do have a little bit of makeup on now. Um, it's not perfect, but alhamdulillah, my skin is pretty good. I can somewhat say it's genetics and um, also at the same time product dependent. And I know this because my skin is much better than better now as opposed to how it was back five years ago. Uh, I I don't even know how to use live. Can you believe it? This is the first time I've ever used live. I don't know how to pin the names, but I will mention them on my story after this live. So I'll put the images and I'll also have like the purpose. So for scars, these products as such. So please watch my um, stories after the live. How did you meet your husband? Oh, same question. So I'm going to skip that one. How do you organize your flight, flights and hotels? Which sites do you use and how do you get your bargains? So this is in regards to my traveling. Um, so I use Skyscanner for all of my flights. I've never ever gone through an agency when I book my uh, trips. I like to book everything myself. I like to plan everything myself. Um, I'm very pedantic of where I want to go, what I want to do. So I don't really like traveling with tours. Uh, so all of my flights are booked on Skyscanner. If you guys don't have this app, please download it. Basically, you just put in uh, your destination and uh, it will give you all of the flights, all of the prices. You can check all of the prices for that month so you can get the best price uh, you know, to your destination during that day, that month, that week and so forth. In terms of um, hotels, I use both um, Agoda app as well as Booking. Um, the more frequently you use these websites, the more uh, discounts you get. So I'm lucky I usually get quite a bit of good discounts on top of discounts. Ufti, uh, what's it called? So the flights, it's uh, use Skyscanner. And for hotels, I would recommend Agoda and Booking.com. So there's an app for all of these. So if you download them, you'll be able to uh, access really good deals and you'd be able to get the best deals for your flights and um, accommodation. So that's basically what I do when I'm traveling. Okay, so any other questions in regards to travel, traveling? Nope, all good. So we'll move on to the next question. How are you so slim? <laughs> Um, for those who are following me, uh, can see I do Pilates about four to five times a, uh, a week. I've been gymming ever since I was about 18 years old. Uh, I'm very active in my life. Um, I don't like to sit. I don't think I can ever remember or recall a time where I've sat down and said, I'm actually bored, um, cause I'm always on the run. So that has a big impact on um, you know how slim I am I'm not a big person when it comes to dieting uh, I'm a very big eater I eat a lot in fact a lot of my friends would always say where the hell does all that food go and um, so yeah I'm not a healthy eater I eat a lot but I exercise and I keep active and at the same time I do take supplements so especially, um, so when I was younger, I didn't really have to do any of this. Uh, I'm 31 now. So as you age, your body slows down and you do need to supplement or exercise or diet to keep slim. So um, I think with me, exercise and supplements have been helping me really well with losing weight. In saying that, every time I go on travels, I gain about five to six kilos. Like it's hard to believe, but those around me will know that at least five kilos I would gain in a month and come back. So when I do that, I come back and I do my C9 cleanse, so the nine day cleanse, and I lose all the kilos within the week. So yeah, but that's it. 
where did you study pharmacy? I studied my pharmacy degree in Brisbane. So I graduated, I was born and raised in Melbourne. I graduated from Ilham College in 2006 and I got into Bachelor of Science at um, Melbourne University. So I've always wanted to become a pharmacist. However, my inter score, well, ATAR score, wasn't high enough to get in straight away. So I did two years of Bachelor of um, Science. And after two years, in my second year, my dad was like, why don't you apply to other universities around Australia and see how you go? So in, in my second year, I applied to several universities around Australia. But the intention wasn't to travel anywhere because my parents would no way allow me to go anywhere outside of Melbourne. It was out of the question. I didn't even ask them. Dad was just like, if you get a uh, positive response, if you get accepted, maybe we'll be able to show the acceptance letter to uh, Monash University and they might consider accepting you over there. So that was the intention of me applying to universities in other cities around Australia. Um, and just a note, like back in 2006, 2007, the only university that offered pharmacy course was Monash Uni and the enter score was incredibly high. It was like 98 point something, you had to sit the UMAT, get like top 15 percentage. It was just crazy. So anyway, uh, when I got the positive response from the University of Queensland in Brisbane, um, I was at uni and I was doing a summer school because I had failed one of my subjects. And my dad called me and he said, oh, you know, come home and stuff. So anyway, I went home and by the time I got home, dad had already arranged accommodation for me. So everything happened so suddenly and within two weeks, I found myself in Brisbane. Um, I don't know, like it was just so weird. It was so quick, it was so sudden. I guess it was just the fact that my parents knew how much I wanted to do pharmacy uh, and they, didn't want to jeopardize me not being able to do it and they just basically allowed me to go and yeah and I stayed in Brisbane for four years I made great friends up there I had the time of my life I really enjoyed it my student life was absolutely amazing and yeah so I finished my degree four years later at the end of 2012 I came back to Melbourne and settled back in Melbourne so yeah and that's what happened with my pharmacy degree more questions Can you please do a hijab tutorial for your everyday scarf style, please? Oh my God, I get this so often on this scarf. I know like I'm so lazy when it comes to videos. I know I have to do this. Um, I get at least three, four DMs every single week uh, of girls requesting for the hijab tutorial. Honestly, I would have shown it now, but I'm not wearing a high neck. So I can't open my scarf and show how I do it. But hopefully very, very soon I will do a video on this and post it. Help me find a wife or find a friend. What? Help me find a wife or find a friend and awesome husband. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help with that. <laughs> you can go through my contact list though. <laughs> okay. How do you manage to have such flawless skin? I think I had semi answered this earlier when someone mentioned about my skin. Um, so partially it has to do with... Um, my skincare routine it has to do with genetics like thank you mum um my mum has amazing skin and um so I, I do partially take after her but i look after my skin a lot like up until the age of 26 i never really cared about it i just used to use anything and anything that i found any cream like every time i felt a little bit of dryness on my skin i'll just slap on some cream never looked at the ingredients never looked at anything it was as long as it was cream that was going on my face it was cream however after i met forever and i became more aware of the ingredients and what works well for skin and so forth um yeah i started taking up a really good skincare routine so I basically have like three masks that I alternate with. I do masks once a month. There's one that I do once a month and there's one that I do once a week and so forth. So I alternate between my masks, my creams. I use about four different types of creams. Again, I alternate depending on the weather and how my skin feels. So if my skin's extremely dry, I will use a thick, um, a really thick based cream. If it's during summer, I will use a gel based cream or gel based um, 
uh, products. So it really just depends on uh, the weather and how my skin is and alternating my skincare. And I think that's how I'm able to maintain my skin. In saying that, I've also been drinking aloe vera gel drink for the past four years, every single morning. And that has made an enormous impact on my skin as well. Uh, in fact, just yesterday I had a customer come in and she's like, I can't believe that your skin looks so much better now than it did two years ago when I first met you. She's like, it's got to be the products. So um, she actually purchased three of the aloe vera drinks for herself as well because people who know me know that my skin now at the age of 31 is so much better than at the age of 25. So it has definitely uh, improved with these aloe vera products. Uh, next question. How tall are you? Uh, I am 164 centimeters tall and I have been this height since I was 11. <laughs> no, honestly, I haven't grown. I was, I was honestly this tall when I was 11 years old. I was the second tallest in the class after some guy and everyone used to call me a giraffe and they used to call me all these names because I was so tall. But yeah, since then, I think Nazar did. I haven't grown and I'm still the same height 10, 20 years later. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Yeah, I haven't grown in 20 years. <sighs> what size clothing do you usually wear? I'll answer it, but I don't know what this is going to change. Uh, I'm a size 8. Okay. With pants, I'm a size 10, but otherwise with dresses, tops, skirts, I'm a size 8. When did you start your business? Was it easy? Did it take so much time and effort? So I started Forever back in 2016. Uh, it's been four years. Uh, was it easy? Did it take so much time? And I didn't start with the intention of doing it as a business. I want to note that I never wanted to do network marketing. I was really happy with my pharmacy job. I was extremely happy with my pharmacy pay. I was working about 60 to 70 hours a week as a pharmacist manager and my income was absolutely amazing and I was single at the time so I was loving life and I never thought of doing any other business or any other work apart from pharmacy <clears throat> however when I was in Turkey um, I coincidentally and I can say accidentally rocked up to an event that was a forever event I listened to the seminar and um, what happened? Oh, I listened to the seminar. I got introduced to the products and I was like, oh, these products seem pretty good. And then at the end of the seminar, they were talking about these packages and how it works. And I was like, no, nah, no, thank you. I'm not getting involved in any of these multi-level marketing company stuff. And then later on, I basically left without signing up. And then later on, um, my cousins told me a mutual friend of ours has been using these products and have uh, her parents have been doing the business for so long. And they've earned a lot from it and it's very popular in turkey and around the world and yeah when she mentioned that i decided to go online and do some research i researched the products and the business and there were positive feedback on both and then i basically just told my husband um well we use these products anyway so in the joining pack there was like shampoo conditioner lip balm um there was the aloe vera drinks uh personal care like underarm deodorant soap bar um, tooth gel, what else? There were so many products, but it was products that we already use on a daily basis anyway. So I was like, well, there's no harm in purchasing the pack, um, whether we do the business or not, let's just get it. So we ended up getting the pack and for four months straight, we just used the products and I didn't tell a single soul apart from my in-laws and my parents that I had purchased a pack like this. And during that four months, I just used the products. And every time I put something on, I was like, oh my God, this product is so good. Like my skincare, uh, I put the aloe moisturizing lotion on, it's a collagen cream. And I was like, what? This is so much better than my John Plunkett's cream that I, you know, collagen cream that I've been paying about five times the amount for. And so basically just using the products, um, I started um, to fall in love with them. And that's how I started doing the business. Oh my God, I got sidetracked with the question. So forget what I, where I was. I'm just going to go back to, did it take so much time and effort uh, to start up the business? So in the beginning, yes, it did. I put in a lot of effort. I was actually in Turkey at the time. So 
I built my business in Australia, recommending it to my friends over here in Australia while I was in Turkey. So that made it quite difficult because of the time difference and not being able to be next to my friends and family to show them the products and to get them to try it. So I was like constantly on the phone explaining benefits, explaining to them just to try it. It took a lot of effort. Um, however, I did reach the manager level in my first four months, um, but getting there, I was determined. I said, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. And if I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. So I had it set in my head and I knew that I would do whatever it takes to get there and I did it. But yeah, it did take a lot of effort in the beginning and now I'm comfortable. How should we approach other businesses to sell? Do we offer free products or pay them money? With this question, I would definitely. So this applies to anything and everything. This is not just for a related question. If you're trying to promote something, I honestly wouldn't pay anyone to promote it for you. I would give them a product. So especially if you've got really pro good products in your hand, you should trust yourself and your product to be able to gift it to someone and for them to try it and put a review on it. Uh, when you pay someone to do something, they're going to be recommending it whether they like it or not. And I think that's a little unethical. I wouldn't ever do that. I would never get anyone to say something that they haven't experienced. I wouldn't get anyone to lie about a product. I wouldn't get anyone to, like even with my members, I say to them, if you haven't used a product, do not ever recommend it. Because I want everyone to be authentic and true to their word when they recommend any product to anyone. And we're not here just to sell. We're here to help people with their, um, you know, health issues or health problems or just, you know, health um, health in general or skincare, personal care, whatever the problem is. We're here to help and um, we're not here to fool anyone or to trick anyone into buying anything. Next question. Any recommendations for acne scars? So the same questions that were same question that was asked in the group earlier. I'll slightly mention it again. So uh, scrub alpha E factor serum and the propolis cream. I will put these products up on my story, and you guys will be able to see it. How did you start your business? I kind kind of mentioned this as well. Um, it was very coincidental. I used the products and I decided to do the business. Where's your favorite place you've traveled and where do you wish to go in the future? Favorite place. Oh my God. I've got a lot of favorite places, but Maldives is one of them. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, it's just like how you see in the photos um, and videos. It was like paradise. There were hardly anyone on the island. Um, Oh my God, it was so beautiful. So I, my husband and I went there for our honeymoon. Uh, we spent about six days uh, on one of the most gorgeous islands on Maldives and it was just absolutely amazing. So Maldives was one of my favorite places and the second favorite place is probably Santorini. We had an amazing time in Santorini. We had a very nice place with a private pool. Uh, the views were amazing. We also hired a quad bike and went around the entire island day and night, uh, just riding around. Um, sometimes I rode while my husband sat behind me and sometimes he rode while I sat behind him, but we had a great time in Santorini. Um, I really wish to go back soon. And where else? And America. I never thought the United States would be a destination that I would want to go. But thanks to Forever, when we got our free trip to go to America, uh, we decided to extend our trip. Well, since we're flying all the way there for free, we thought we'll stay there a little longer and do some traveling. And oh my God, Vegas, uh, New York, um, even Texas, uh, where else? San Francisco, I didn't like too much. But um, LA, it was just amazing. We had so much fun. Uh, we hired cars in each city we went to, except for New York. Do not drive in New York, it'll be crazy. But yeah, it was just so much fun. Um, and yeah, we've been twice in two years. So the first time we went was in 2018 in October. And we were also there in September, October last year. We're meant to go again this year. But due to the coronavirus, it's been postponed. It. Where do I wish to go in the future? To the rest of the world. I want to travel the world. So a lot of countries on the list. 
Can I still do my wudu after moisturizing with forever products? I will recommend you to take wudu before you moisturize because when you do moisturize, a lot of the product is taken off. Um, so take your wudu first and then moisturize your skin. All right, let's see how many left. Not many. Actually, there are a few more. If any of you want to ask anything, uh, I don't have to stick to these. So if there's any questions that any of you would like to ask, feel free to ask and I will try to have a look and answer you guys. Not a question, but please save the live if you can. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay, next. Which products do you recommend for pregnant ladies? Um, is this in general? Okay, well, in general, you can use just about every forever product for pregnant women, except for the aloe vera gel drink. I wouldn't recommend you to start during pregnancy. Um, apart from that, all the skincare products and the personal care products are fine as well. Even our painkiller cream, I highly recommend it for pregnant women because, um, as you know, you're only restricted to taking paracetamol when you're pregnant. Um, so with the heat lotion, yes, it is. <laughs> you can use it on your back, you can use it on your shoulders, your neck, you can use it on your legs because I know some pregnant women can experience, um, you know, aching legs and joints. So you can use it all around your body, just except for your stomach area. But all the products are safe in pregnancy. Uh, hey, beautiful. Does the aloe vera gel work on weight loss? I wouldn't recommend the aloe vera gel drink alone for weight loss because... Yes, aloe drink is a cleanser. It does help cleanse the bowels. Um, so what aloe does is it will prevent you from gaining weight because it's able to eliminate the waste from your body and um, your body's also able to absorb all the nutrients from the food that you eat much better when you drink aloe due to its cleansing properties. However, it's not a specific weight loss product. For weight loss, uh, I would definitely recommend the C9, but if you want to take a single supplement, I would recommend the Garcinia tablets because Garcinia helps break down fat, it helps keep you full, and it also stops the conversion of carbohydrates into fat. So a weight loss product would be the Garcinia Plus. How did you become a pharmacist in Turkey and how long did it take? So to become a pharmacist in Turkey, you need to first complete your pharmacy degree in Australia. And once you've done that, you apply to YÖK in Turkey, which is the head of the unis in Turkey. And, um, and then you send in all of your transcripts, all of your subjects and everything. And once you do that, they, they basically assess it and they will tell you which subjects you will need to do. So luckily uh, with me, they accepted in, uh, all of my subjects. The only two subjects that I had to complete were the business aspect and the law, uh, pharmacy law in Turkey. And those were a must because obviously I didn't study Turkey related stuff when I was in Australia. Uh, so I just had to do two subjects and it only took about three months. So I was working at the time, I was doing my internship and my boss was nice enough to let me go for three months. So I went to Turkey during that time and I studied at Anadolu University in Eskishehir. I rented a very cute little apartment um, over there. And again, I met really amazing people from all around the world um, that were in Turkey at the time, also doing their pharmacy course over there. So yeah, um, that's how I was able to get my pharmacy degree. And I am, um, yeah, but... It's just sitting there. I, I don't know if I'll ever go to Turkey and open up a pharmacy or not. Aloe drink is amazing. If you're bloated, it does wonders. Yes, aloe drink is really good for bloating, flatulence, constipation. It really helps empty the, uh, the bowels. And, um, and you just get that nice, comfortable, flat tummy. Can adults drink the peach aloe vera drink or is it just for kids? Yes, they can, but I wouldn't recommend it because uh, so we do have three flavors, the original flavor, the berry flavor and the peach flavor. Peach flavor has the lowest concentration of aloe vera. It's about 84.7% if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. 84.5%, I was 0.1% off. So um, the peach flavor has 84.5% of aloe content, uh, whereas the original flavor has 99.7% aloe vera. That's a massive difference. 
and also with the peach flavor it's um it's got natural fruit in there so it has natural fruit sugars whereas the aloe vera drink the original one has absolutely no sugar in there at all so but if you really can't tolerate the um, original flavor i would recommend you to squeeze lemon into it uh, you can also when you refrigerate it when you drink it cold it's so much more better as well you can put some rg into it uh, instead of sipping on it make sure you take it as a shot and if you can't do any of those then you can drink the berry flavor because the berry flavor is um, more concentrated with aloe vera as opposed to the peach flavor what are the steps if you want to sell forever living uh, it's easy there's actually three ways of joining um, but I'm not going to go into that now if any of you are interested please message me and I will help you guys with that um, but yeah it's very simple we don't have any sign up fees we don't have any um, no joining fees no membership fees no compulsory monthly buys no subscription nothing you basically just become a member with the three different packs um, that you purchase or any of the three that packs that you purchase and you remember for lifetime and that's it it's quite simple and easy what motivates you um with what <laughs> what motivates you uh maybe in general in life what motivates me when i wake up in the morning well if there's something that i want to get done i will get it done um if it's work related like I said, when it's when with me, it's either I do it or I don't do it. So it's just that urge for success, basically. Um, I guess that's what really motivates me on my everyday to get to do things. When it comes to gym, I do really care about my body, and um, I will get up early in the morning and I will go and work out. Um, so it depends what this like. It's such a general question, um, so I don't know how to answer it, but. In general, um, I just like to accomplish my things in life. I guess that's what motivates me. Blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Can you take different vitamins on a daily basis? Do they interact with one another? One another? There's so many vitamins out there. Um, there are some specific vitamins that can cause uh, severe side effects when you consume it with other vitamins or medications. But in general, a lot of the um, general vitamins like your fish oil, vitamin D, vitamin C, they don't really interact with anything. But that's such a broad question. Um, you'd need to specifically mention which vitamins you're referring to because there's tons of vitamins out there. Guys, this is the last question. There were so many that we've answered. Ah. So, this is the last, lucky last. Let's see. This is a big one because there's actually the continuation. Forever gibi büyük bir ailenin bayrağını Avustralya ve kıtalar arası gibi ülkelerde en ön saflarda dalgalandırmak nasıl bir duygu? This was asked in Turkish, so I'm going to reply in Turkish. Um, çok güzel bir duygu. Uh, hiç böyle olacağını ilk baştan tahmin etmemiştim. Ama elhamdülillah Allah yolumu açık etti. Uh, kendim de zaten çok azimliydim iyi yapmak ve iyi başarmak için. Uh, Avustralya'da da çok fazla um, Forever Living ile ilgilenen olmadığı için, benim de biraz üstüne uh, durduğum için... Elhamdülillah iyi yerlere gelmeme nasip oldu. So, ama duygu olarak çok güzel bir duygu. Elhamdülillah. So, that is the answer to the last question. And I'm done with all of the questions that were asked. Um, yeah, is there anything else that you guys want to know or you guys want to ask? Or shall we end it there? I don't know how long it's been. I think I've been on call for about 40 minutes now. No, we're good. Well, thank you so much for everyone who came online. Thank you so much to everyone who joined in. This was my first live. Um, I was a bit afraid. I got a little bit of anxiety before I switched my live on. In fact, I didn't even know how to switch it on. And I was just like flicking through the bottoms, looking at where on earth is live? How do I connect to live? So, but it was fun. It was nice seeing you guys. 
thank you so much for joining Filizabla. Thank you. But um, yeah, maybe next time I'll do a live with someone and we'll have a chit chat and we'll see how it goes. But if there's anything else that you guys would want to talk about or uh, hear me talk about during the lives, just let me know and we'll see how it goes. Hey, Bootsul. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Elif. So we'll end it tonight. Um, thanks, Aisha. Uh, and we'll leave it there, I guess. Or is there someone who wants to join? Islam, I'm not sure who that is, so I'm not going to accept it. But yeah, thanks, guys. Have a good night, and hopefully I'll see you guys again. Bye.